I think we've probably covered some strengths, some weaknesses, certainly some opportunities, but there's the big one, the threats. What do you see are the biggest threats in this, um, in this digital mobile age? I think probably the biggest threats that we've seen uh, recently are all primarily around the security area. Because if you look at the other aspects of the way we're working today across the generations, I think we're using technology in a more creative way to drive, drive down cost, improve you know, the, the experience. Security is a big issue and I think we've got a way to go before we can really find some, some of the right solutions out there because we're bringing in so many different devices into the workplace. We've got so many different solutions now. We're connecting them. So I see security as one. The other uh, threat that I see is, is really a big investment being made, but not getting the adoption rates that you want. And that means your return on investment is not very good. And if you look at the realities of some of, uh, you know, people have sometimes put in the technology before they've understood the strategy. So what are, what are we looking for this technology to deliver or this redesigned workplace to deliver? Have we engaged with the community of people and the user community and taken them on the journey? That to me is a big threat because it means that we've got now to reinvest change. I think the other threat that we have is when we build very nice structures for new working and we haven't built the flexibility that we need. The days when you can create your bank of offices or your bank of desks, and that's the model for the next five years, are gone. We are having to change rapidly on a regular basis. So we need to build flexibility. We need to get security thought through properly. And I think we're still on that road. We haven't solved all of those issues. We need to interconnect the various silos. I mentioned that before. And I think we need to engage and have great user interfaces because these are the barriers that are going to be barriers both in the multi-generational workforce, but I think more importantly, barriers to greater productivity, better well-being and greater adoption of all our investment in technology. For the multi-generational employer looking to get their technology right, what would you say are the, the key factors that they should be looking at? Very good question, Brian. Technology is an, an expensive investment, so mm. I think getting it right is really important. So from my point of view, from what I've seen in the real world, make the user experience really intuitive and really robust, because that way you get high levels of adoption. Secondly, design with flexibility in mind, because the workplace is changing. We're on a journey, we haven't got there yet and think about how you can personalize the experience for the different generations. Mm -hmm. Very important to take, because that way you get better utilization. Look at integration. There's no point building exciting silos of technology which don't communicate. So think about how the different experiences, video, digital, mobile, connect, and make it manageable. You've got multi-platform mobile today, so maybe you want to think about some new technologies that can work across the different platforms. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would suggest as uh, the key things to consider going forward. Lewis, it's been great speaking with you again. Thank you, Brian. Great speaking with you. Yeah.